and the obeisance is for, from all the TOVP, the Temple of the Vedic Planetarium. My name is Sad Das. I'm the managing director of the project. I want you to see what's going on here today since the inception in March 2010. Four months have passed and I will take you on a tour to see all the different activities that are in motion at the moment on the site. First of all, we'll start with the piling machines. We have many machines here on the site that are actually pounding a jig that goes 23 meters deep into the earth. As you can see behind me, you can see one of the piling machines in motion now. When this piling machine rams the uh, jig all the way down, then the concrete is poured. This is what we call a pile. There is 2300 of these piles on the whole site. So I will also now show you what is the end result of a pile. Before we commence actually ramming the pile 20 meters or 23 meters into the ground, we first lay a, a plate. This plate weighs about 25 kgs. And this place, this plate is rammed into the ground. This is forcing the earth to go down. Then, this place stays there forever. Then when the concrete is poured, the jig is pulled out from the piling machine and that's how we form one pile completed. And these, pile, these, these plates are perfectly placed and positioned that will manifest into a cap after the pile section is completed. ...of where the piles are placed in the ground. This section here now is getting prepared to be capped. As you can see right around how the capping will be done, I will walk you through that. After the piles have been laid into the ground, 23 meters, we randomly do a, called a weight check to see if it can handle certain amount of pressure. Each bag behind me that you see weighs 250 pounds. So altogether we have 250 tons of weight there. This is on each pile. So this is randomly done to see that if the pressure is able to be sustained for the construction of the foundation and then the superstructure in the temple itself. We will show you now what is actually happening underneath these sandbags. Now you can see what is happening to the power testing. We'll go inside now and we'll see the engineers are marking to see that the power test is accurate and it can stain the such amount of weight. Here we have 250 tons, but we only require about 80 tons. We're doubling the pressure to make sure that this temple will remain here forever. Now we'll go inside to have a look at the engineers in motion to see how they're testing the pile. See here you can see the you can see the engineers in motion. They're putting it they're getting prepared to actually measure to measure the weight. So this is done very scientifically and it's very much required 
because this is a, one of the main principal points that, that sustains the piles and measuring that we've done a, a wonderful job to actually to hold the temple up steady from any any uh, material disasters like earthquakes uh, storms waters etc thank you What you see here behind me is the stainless steel pour put into a form before it goes inside the pile. This stainless steel is a 304 quality. That's the technical name for it. This stainless steel has very strong properties where there's no corrosion at all and it also stays like this forever. As you can see here, the, the uh, laborers are putting all the stainless steel and bending it to uh, actually uh, placed in the pile. We have about 15 of these strips that you see here formed every day and placed in the pile so that the strength of the pile is perfect. Here we have a cement cube. This cement cube is actually poured from every pile that we lay. And every pile is tested for its strengths, its dimension, and weight so that that the pile that we poured is perfect otherwise we will need to redo the pile again as you can see in front of me here we have many different machines that do the testing and you can see that it's also quality controlled by a computer and also we can see here to this side how the pressure test works that is connected to the computer and also Nandakini here, David Dasi, is also going over the logbooks to make sure that everything is accurate. Here you can see when the cement is mixed, it's placed into these jigs and from then the cement is dried. And then it's been released and then we get these cubes like I said and these cubes are, are tested in the lab. As you can see behind me there's a lot of water flowing around. Here in this tank we even place ice to keep the temperature lower than 38 degrees Celsius so that the cement mixture is actually uniform and perfect to be laid in the piles. You can see the actual ice here that's going into the water to cool it down so that the temperature is perfect for the cement. This is perfectly controlled again, like I said, by computer. And they put this, they put it all in here into the water. The water. We're in the batch implant operation room here at the moment. This room is fully air conditioned because it has very sensitive equipment. The batch implant is a place where the cement is being mixed. As you can see here by the equipment, this operator here, and as you can see on the screen of the, com of the computer, is actually pouring the different aggregates in the batching plant so that that every mixture is perfect 
So it's actually, again, temperature controlled. The cement is also perfectly controlled in temperature wise so that, that the balance of the cement throughout the whole of operation of this construction stays constantly the same. So you can see here that the batch implant is a very, very important element for this construction. Now, if you look outside, this is the batch implant, and here the truck is being loaded with cement so that uh, it's ready to be go to the site and actually pulled inside the pile of what we are doing at this phase. What you see behind me is the batching plant in, in action. Now here the trucks are lined up waiting for the cement to be poured. Actually it takes 20 minutes for each truck to be filled with cement and there's always a line of trucks waiting in preparation. As you can see here also on the other side this is where the aggregates are and you can see in motion the uh, machine filling up the the batching plant at the moment with stone chips and then the concrete will be poured automatically the sand will go in and the water will be placed at a certain temperature like I said. by the side of me you see a cage this is a stainless steel cage that sits on four piles now we can see this cage manifesting and with the pillars going up which are also all stainless steel here randomly you can see so many of these cages being prepared we're getting ready for the concrete to be laid. As you can see also on the side here where I am, the uh, jigs are set in place and the concrete is being poured right now, as you can see. These will be going on every day for the next six months, pouring concrete on the caps and then the foundation slab will be formed on top of these. Hi, Bo. My name is Mandakini Dasi, and I work for the Temple of the Vedic Planetarium as secretary and researcher, along with Vis Vishaka Mataji for Sadbuj Prabhu. I have been on this project now for about five months and even in that short amount of time we have seen so much progress on the site here in Mayapur. I am so happy to be a part of this project and to help spread Lord Chaitanya's Sankirtan movement throughout the whole world. And if it wasn't for the wonderful staff here at the TOVP and everybody involved, this project wouldn't be going as smoothly as it is. So we hope that you keep us in your blessings and in your prayers so that we can continue to keep this project rolling smoothly and effortlessly so that one day for generations to come we will see many, many people here in Sri Dham Mayapur. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Now we are actually coming to the end of the first phase of this tour. As you've seen, so many different activities that are going on here. And you can see everything in motion that is happening. We have over 300 workers on site. From our team of the TOVP, we have nine engineers. And also, Gammon, the construction company, sometimes has a number of 15 to 20 engineers per day. So you can see everything that is happening here is very professional and very accurate. So there's no mistakes made in construction, constructing this temple. Thank you very much for participating in viewing this. Hare Krishna.